So right now I am taking a look at a Beezer home here next to work. And this builder is spray foaming the whole entire house, which is expensive. But what I want to see is, is this builder spray foaming right in here where it's, um, They're spray foaming. They apply the cock down here. And they spray foam all the way up in here too. Pretty much all the way around the window. Has a pretty good seal all the way around. They're also doing the bottom plates down here all around to kind of help with air sealing the house, the bottom plates. Surprisingly enough, they didn't do the top plates, the exterior, but they did play caulking it there around the window frame. They too are using this finger jointed stud. They didn't caulk any of these though, even though it's interior wall. You think they would have. Spray foamed all the top ceilings. They did spray foam wires coming in from the outside. You can see. And they're using this DuPont flashing system around the windows. Here they applied caulk with a combination of spray foam around this little window. Kind of a weird window. They apply foam around these boxes, all up in here. This DuPont flashing system. Gotta look that up. So they basically applied that bead of caulk all the way around the bottom plate. Here's another one that's really good. They even use styrofoam in between these plates right here. They did a pretty good job with it. And that probably could have used a little bit more caulking right in there. As you can see the paper, you can see this paper right back in here, right in there. This one too. Pretty much this window needs to be redone. They're getting ready to hang she rock in this house, so they're not going to come back and fill any more of this crap up. Can you use that flex wrap. Just trying to get an idea of what I need to be looking for.
go take a look at the master bedroom. Here again, you can see they're using that styrofoam board sandwiched in between. Let's go take a look at the outside as how they are taping. There goes the whole system right here. And this builder is using either OSB or plywood, something for the external. Oh no, they're using thermal ply too. Look at that. Thermal ply. But let's see how their installation looks. So they got flashing around the corners, which is what I would like to see. They have nailed rather than does this one have insulation. Let's go take a look in the inside real quick. See, they got thermal ply on this house too. Oh yeah, they already got this house sealed up. Dang it! But they are using. This flex wrap here for wires that come in. It's a uh, flashing. But I like the way they are sealing every joint here with flashing. That's what I, what I want to see. External boxes that come through, they use this flashing here. They are plugging up every hole. This is the window flashing. See, this one didn't really tape so well, but they got this bottom flashing right here. And they use flashing under here too with this paper. I really do like how they are installing this one so far. No big holes, nice and flush all the way around. Seems to be air sealed tight. Well, as much as possible. See, I can't even pick this up whatsoever. And this is another thing that I want to see too. It's just quick flash. That's what they call quick flash. See, they really did a good job with making sure this is down. This one could have been nailed in a little bit better. But I would tape every one of these anyhow. this all the way around here's a quick flash again so they're using a combination of green structural sheathing with the red
but I sure do like how this is installed. Nice, flat, and flush. So they used this on this house, and then they got that one over there. We'll take a look at how that one is. From my understanding, these are all the same builder. See, they used the uh, OSB or something. I don't know what they use on this house. Wood, all right. They're using this OSB around the house. They've installed the windows. Here is the electrical panel. They haven't foamed that yet. Take a look at this window. They haven't came back and spray foamed this thing yet. They haven't came and installed the insulation yet. But they did put a bead of caulk right in here. For now. But whenever I was pressing down on that thermal ply, it was a little bit flexible, meaning that there was nothing really underneath it. You see they put this OSB all the way around the house. And they are also using this finger jointed stud stuff. And they just use this flex wrap right here as a flashing around exterior walls. I prefer the quick flash system over this that tape. See, again, there's no quick flash. It's just a whole bunch of tape underneath it. Take a look at their taping job. See, this seems to be more secured, more more pressed down and stuck. But you can see they use that flex sheathing around the bottom plates of the window. Sorry, flex flashing is what they use.
that is this house so seems like that house would be more comparable to what we would be getting we just need to make sure that we get that sort of quality of installation And unfortunately, I think that's the only house out here that has that thermal fly. There was one next to it. Concludes our is that pallet home, pallet home, pallet home. And we'll have to call them, figure out how and why they decide to use it. That's it.